Hey guys, it's Nessa, and pretty much what you see here is my iMats haul for 2011. And it pretty much didn't haul a lot, as you can see, um, since I went to the IBS Vegas show uh, the weekend before. Um, and usually that's a little bit more calmer, so just to kind of beat the rush of iMats because I knew it was going to be packed, I pretty much just got everything I needed at the Vegas show. So this is just like my little tiny haul from iMats, um, just so you can kind of see uh, the different things that they had over there. Um, I got these lashes from Nigel Emporium, and they were actually seven for ten dollars, I believe. I got four here. Um, I went with my bridesmaid, Sophia, um, so she kind of got the other three. We kind of just split the cost there. Um, you know, I got some lashes, so we stocked up. And we just kind of got different ones. And then I also stopped by the Miss Adoro booth and just got a couple lashes there as well because I absolutely love their lashes. Um, this one's a little bit more on the natural side, a little bit lighter. And um, Napoleon Pardee, uh, they were, their booth was absolutely awesome. I'm not sure if any of you guys went to IMATS, but their booth was one of the best booths there that I've seen. Uh, they gave away in their press kit um, their coral set here which is just so cute because I'm into corals right now and just to open this bad boy um, you can see the little quad that they have here it's their prismatic eyeshadow quad in coral and it's just they're just really pretty colors um, as you can see I have like a nice taupe color, a pink color, like an eggplant purple color, and a nice pretty silver color there. Um, it also comes with the mirror, so that comes in handy. And my favorite is actually the coral blushes, and this is their Cheek to Chic Blush Duo in Coral. And like I said, I'm into corals right now, so this is just right up my alley. But as you can see, it's just really pretty. Um, and of course, they're really pigmented, as you can see there. Um, so they're just really, really pretty blushes. Um, and then the next one, I actually really love their lip veils. Um, simply because it doesn't have the doe foot applicator. Like many lip glosses, it's actually a brush. Um, and this one is um, Luminous Lip Veil in Coral. And they go on really sheer, so don't expect any, you know, crazy pigmentation. But, um, you know, if I had to compare it to something, it's similar to the MAC Dazzle glasses that have, you know, a lot of shimmer. Um, I know the MAC Dazzle glasses have a little bit more color. These are a little bit more sheer, but they do have a lot of sparkle. So if you're, if you're into sparkle, it's definitely um, a good thing to check out. This is their Luminous Lip Veil in Rare Opal. And I love this because it's just a clear shimmer gloss which can go over anything. Um, even alone, it just kind of gives your lips a nice sheer shimmer to them. Um, and since I'm kind of freestanding my camera here, let me just give me a second so I can show you the actual applicator here. As you can see, it's a brush. It's not a doe foot applicator, so I personally like that better. I just think it kind of eliminates having to have a lip brush in the first place. So I definitely love their lip veils. And again, thank you Napoleon Perdie because they were just absolutely awesome and they were one of the major sponsors this year at IMAT. So I'm forever grateful to them. They have such a wonderful staff um, and they've just been so great and wonderful to, um, to me. So just thought I'd give them a quick shout out. Um, next up, I got some a couple of Anastasia products, which are my holy grail eyebrow products, um, because at the show they were 40% off, which is a steal. Normally these are about 20, um, I know their Brow Wiz, oh, that's this one over here. Their Brow Wiz is about $21, I believe, at like Sephora. And their brow gels around the same, around $20. Um, so um, I really thought I'd take up, you know, the full 40% off, even though I'm pretty much stocked up on these. 
Um, they were about 12, I believe like $12.50 each at the show, which is such a good deal. Um, and of course I got their tinted brow gel in caramel. And I absolutely love it, so I had to stock up even though I already have one that I'm still working on finishing. Um, and of course their brow was in medium ash. And the reason why I really love their brow is is because it's it's you know it's more on the creamier side. It's not like a pencil, um, and it's self sharpening. You just have to uh, spin it up, and then of course the eyebrow brush. So that comes in handy as well. Um, it kind of eliminates the need of having to carry a separate one. So thought that was a great deal, and pretty much just got that. And then hitting up the NYX booth, I got their new products, which are, uh, which are their matte lipsticks. And um, let's see here, I got Shocking Pink. And I don't have my Candy Yum Yum on me, but I believe this is a really good dupe for Max Candy Yum Yum, which sold out. Um, and I have swatches on my blog, like I said, I kind of have one hand here since I'm using the camera on, on another but um, as you can see this is the pink and it's super pretty and I honestly think it's next to candy yum yum in terms of colors so I'll definitely swatch those on my blog and compare them but I think this might be a good dupe for it um, the next one I got was indie flick and I'm not usually an orange lipstick kind of a gal but ever since I got hibiscus from the Max Surf Baby collection I've just been absolutely in love with um, you know corals and, and things on the orange side so this is a little bit more on the like reddish coral um, it kind of goes on like a bright orange similar to I think Mac has um, I think it's called Morange or something um, so it might be similar to that lipstick but it's pretty and I actually wish I got more but there were some colors in there that I kind of already have the shades for so I kind of skipped out on that um, this one is sweet pink it's a little bit more darker um, I think it's it's kind of along the range of Max Athena's Kiss from the Wonder Woman collection where it kind of has a berry undertone to it so it's not bright pink um, and again I will have swatches on my blog um, comparing these lipsticks to, to some that I have uh, that way you, you know you kind of get an idea of which ones to check out um, and of course Sigma they had samples of their new eyeshadows that they're coming out with as well as um, a brush so oh, I got things rolling away here um, so they gave out their little blending E25 brush um, to people so that was good too um, those are pretty much the things that I'm giving away to my sister um, and again this is the eyeshadow sample that they gave out and they're actually really pigmented so I think I actually might check out their eyeshadows um, and I'm glad that they gave a sample so that I mean since they're an online store it's kind of hard to really you know test out but they're pretty pigmented as you can see um, and they seem like really cool colors so I think they're gonna have three different palettes that have different um, you know eyeshadow colors so that's definitely something to check out um, I had the pleasure of meeting also Xena which is the makeup artist um, she's also she's a makeup artist but she's also the creator of the Z palette um, and I regret not taking a picture with her because she was just super sweet and super nice um, but she gave me a complimentary Z palette um, I was actually really flattered because you know when I was talking to her um, she said that she actually read my blog post on the Zebra Z palette that um, I did a review on so uh, I was really shocked that she actually read it um, and she gave me this, this Z palette to try out which is their new um, pro palettes and basically the difference is it's of course a little bit more sturdier um, than the Zebra Z palette that I have which is a little bit more on the you know cardboard side even though that's just as sturdy as well I think this has a little bit more um, sturdiness to it and it's also deeper um, deeper in the wells here so that you can you know s put more eyeshadows on there and kind of prevents it from being crushed or anything like that not that I've even had a problem with my uh, Zebra Z palette but it'd be interesting to compare these and of course that would be a separate post um, and the Inglot eyeshadow 
Uh, the Inklout booth actually at IMATS was really packed. For those of you that went, you know what I'm talking about. And they're really pigmented as you can see. Um, they come on, you know, in just like one little swipe. Uh, you can get a lot of color. I got mainly purples. I actually got another eyeshadow and I put it in my Z palette. So that's the reason why I kind of want to go this Sunday is because, um, you know, they also fit into the Z palette. So I plan on getting a couple of eyeshadows and stuff to kind of put it in the professional Z palette and kind of see how that goes. But as you can see, this is the one of the Inglot eyeshadows that I got and I was able to put it in my Z palette so that's pretty nifty so I think I'm probably gonna get a bunch of different maybe blushes and eyeshadows to kind of fill up that palette um, but back to the Inglot palette what I love about it is that the it's very sleek and sturdy as you could see um, and it's thin to carry around and I love how the lid you know pretty much can go any way you know you want it. you can swing it open you can put it up on the top they're just held by these tiny little four magnets the only thing that I would have to say is a little annoying or maybe I just don't know I mean I've tried to search online and on YouTube I mean I know people have better luck with the round eyeshadows but with these square ones there's just really no easy way to take them out of the palette so I think if I'm practicing uh, to be really skilled here I could probably try to wedge them out um, but of course everyone is fearful of cracking their eyeshadows but really I honestly don't know any other way to take these out um, if you do know please let me know because I would love to know um, if anything I could probably just ask them at the store when I go this Sunday and just maybe get their how-to of how to take these out um, just in case I ever want to you know switch them around and things like that I also got, um, I'm probably going to have to move over here, I got their um, loose eyeshadow in number 34. Um, I wanted to try their, their eyeshadows and so I got this one, it's like a nice pink color and it's packed, and again sorry because I kind of have, I'm holding the camera in one hand, but here we go. Um, it's packed with so much pigment in there and it's such a pretty pink and again this is also just as pigmented as you can see so definitely worth checking out um, and I'm actually kind of excited to check out their store again in a more calm manner uh, like I said the booth was absolutely insane so I didn't even get to swatch half the eyeshadows without going crazy um, but yeah this is pretty much my iMets haul and um, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.